right, good morning, guys. This is Jason with the Prime Outdoors channel, and today I am with my friend Connie. Uh, her and Jim are here at the ranch um, hanging out with me, but Connie wanted to come up and kind of see what we were doing up here. And uh, so we're going to spend a little bit of time moving some irrigation because that is uh, one of the main things I'm trying to do up here is keep this field that you see out here irrigated and we're flood irrigating it. We've got some water coming down and I moved tarps and stuff, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit. But it is a gorgeous morning. Still somewhat cool and comfortable, but it's been hot. We've been in the uh, 90s every day, but right now it's very pleasant. Very pleasant. So one of the things I like to do before I go and start moving the tarps around, which are well over there, is I like to just walk around the field and see where water has been getting to uh, already. So... I moved tarps yesterday and I like to kind of come and then wander around the fields and see where the water is migrating and getting to. And uh, where we're at right now, it is getting lots of water. So we are standing in uh, an area that is well irrigated, but we just kind of walked through another area that was a little bit dry. So I, I think I'm gonna to try to get the water to move over there a little bit today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Woohoo! It bends! Water! Where'd it go? Woo! So I was just kind of showing Connie around here and uh, over on the side of the hill. So we were back up over on the other side there. Connie's checking out some rocks and stuff. But on the side here, there's this old truck. Not much left of it, but man, it just looks beautiful sitting here in the morning sun. <laughs> How many miles? It only has, uh, it's written on this map, 12 turns to 1. This is what you think, you could have been sitting right, mm. sitting right on top of the fuel tank. You know, it just shows they used to make them to last. Look at this running board. Oh, I was going to say, maybe we, we get a cool shot of you being in there, but there's a lot of bees right yeah, there. I, oh, there's a beehive right there. Mm -hmm. oh, we can get, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah but we don't want to, oh. we don't want to piss those guys off. Yeah, they used to put a lot more style into the vehicles, right? So here's one of my tarps I'm going to move. I'm going to leave it right now because I'm going to show Connie a couple more things. But I'm going to move this tarp downstream a little bit so that we can get a little bit more of that area. But basically, we've got water coming down from the mountains, coming down this ditch. And then we redirected the water with tarps out into the field and try to flood the field to keep it green. So one of the interesting things is right now is... You can see from everywhere I'm showing you that there has been grass growing. Uh, a lot of it's kind of dying off from summer, but where we're obviously irrigating, we're able to keep some of this green. But last year, there was a big forest fire that came through here and burned all of this. It was nothing but black earth everywhere, everywhere we're standing. And uh, if you look at Google Earth right now, the pictures that they have of the ranch, uh, you can see that. It's very... Uh, very clear that this whole area was nothing but, you know, just completely burned. 
black all the way up to around the ranch house. So it's really nice to see that how quickly this grasslands has recovered from that. All right guys, so this is something interesting I kinda wanna show you. So the water that we're using for irrigating is coming from Cabin Creek, which is a creek coming from the mountains up in there. And then it's being redirected down through this canal right here. Now it's also flowing down in that area as well, but some of the water is being redirected down through this canal and it comes to this uh, little setup here that Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife put in. And the purpose of this is to make sure that any native fish that might end up in this canal can get back to the main stream. So the fish could come in here and then there's a little hole right there that has a tube that would take them back down to the main stream. And then you've got a, a little filter here that makes sure that uh, they can't get past, but the water can get through. And that filter spins uh, with this water wheel. So the water comes through, spins the water wheel, and then there's a drive mechanism that spins this, um, this filter. And so I gotta come up here every once in a while and just make sure no debris has come and is blocking up the filter and making sure water is going all right. Also make sure that that is clear and that that water can get down through there or if any fish were to get into this area that they would be able to pass and get back to the main stream, which is, like I said, right down in that area over here. I tell you, there's just not really a, be not a spot that's just not beautiful to look at right now, is there? Oh, thank you. Is that a compliment? <laughs> it is thank a compliment. You, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, if, if the water flows, if the higher water flow, does that spin faster? Um, it would spin a little faster, yeah. The, it would push the, a little bit more. But they also have some other spots up here and I can kind of show you where um, when the water's flowing more than what really can be handled by this, uh, they'll divert water back to the creek up higher in a couple spots. So this is one of the uh, spots where they can divert water. So if there's just too much water from snow melt and whatever coming down the creek, they can open this up a little bit so they can direct more water down the main creek so that they don't overtax uh, the water wheel down there and they actually have another one a little further up as well I think I'll go ahead and put it here Let's see if we can get some more water directed. I'm going to go back, end up having to go back and grab the other one. And I might move it down a little bit further even. To capture a little bit more water to go in this section of the field where I don't think it's been getting much here the last few days. Get a little bit more water down this way. And I'll direct some out the field here. Jason said he's going to check the irrigation of the grasses. I thought he was going to come out here and, you know, 
I got it. Turn the valve and then shh, water, water, water everywhere. But this is the old fashioned way and the best way. All right, so you guys can see, here's the first tarp that I set uh, or reset and the water is just really flowing here. And then of course there's still just enough getting trickled by that it's getting down to the other tarp, which will over the course of the day, put out some good water out that direction as well. But yeah, this one's just really, really flowing here. Definitely going out into the field. You see here. Yeah, so it should flood out this whole area. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today. I uh, just showing you a little bit of what I'm doing here. There's some other things that I'm doing as well, like that you guys have seen as far as weed eating and some stuff around the, the main house. But the main focus here right now is to try to keep these fields uh, irrigated as best I can, uh, keep them green so wildlife and other creatures can come in here and feed throughout the summer, but also hopefully help uh, keep some green grass kind of going into the even into the winter months a little bit longer because like I said this whole area is winter range for wildlife during the during the winter months they'll come out from the mountains and come down into the this big valley and you know kind of feed throughout the throughout the winter months anyhow did you have fun did you have fun Connie yes I had fun I had fun <laughs> All righty, well, we're going to head back. We're going to find some shade tree, and then we might actually come back up here and check some of these again this evening. But I think for you guys, this will be the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below, and we'll catch you guys again outside. 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 <laughs>